Hey guys, it's me. I'm back with um, another <clears throat> compendium of creepy video. Now, this video is a compendium of creepy sub series. There's going to be a few of these. Um, the series, the sub series this video is a part of, is called The Paranormal Diary. Now, I'm a very uh, spiritual person. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've had lots of paranormal experiences myself. I had two just today. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys about those in this video. Plus one I had when I was a, a child. So we'll start with the one that happened earliest in life. I was probably... <clears throat> pardon me. I just ate, so... I probably have food stuck in my throat. <laughs> uh, I was probably six or seven years old um, when my grandfather on my dad's side, he was adopted, um, passed. <clears throat> so <laughs> we were there the night before he passed. And... <clears throat> I used to believe in coincidence. I don't really anymore, so, you know. I used to believe this was a coincidence, but I don't know. Um, but anyway, I was sleeping. Uh, it was around Christmas time when this happened. Uh, I honestly don't remember when he passed because I'm 28 now, so it was a long time ago. <clears throat> so, um, excuse me, I don't remember around what time frame it happened, but it was around Christmas time, <clears throat> and from my window in the house I used to live in, uh, there were icicle lights hanging outside my window, and I was in bed, the lights were on, and <clears throat> I thought it was a reflection of the Christmas lights from outside <clears throat> because my door to my room had a uh, very shiny finish to it. So I thought it was a reflection. So I asked my mom to turn off the Christmas lights that the glare on my door was keeping me awake because it looked like a person standing in the corner of my room uh, by my door. <clears throat> she turned off the lights, I roll over to go back to sleep, and it's still there. So, it wasn't a glare from the Christmas lights, and I, I noticed it was still there, and it, it freaked me out, because I was like, like I said, I was like seven. <clears throat> and this misty white figure just moved closer and closer to my bed. <clears throat> Granted, I didn't know what was going on at the time. So, I was just kind of frozen. I didn't know what to do. And, um... <clears throat> it got to the side of my bed. It was literally standing over me in my bed. Because at the time, I had a uh, platform bed. Which was literally plywood with a wooden frame that sat about this far off the floor. <clears throat> so, I didn't know what to do. I got up and ran <laughs> across my room and when I turned back around it dissipated so that was my first paranormal experience I can remember uh, I feel like I've always been spiritual though even when I was really young but I don't remember anything from then so um, since then I've had a bunch of paranormal experiences that I'll go into later in later videos but <clears throat> now I'm going to tell you guys about the two that happened to me within four hours of each other today. <clears throat> you can be skeptical all you want. They're personal experiences, so you guys didn't experience it with me. So you can <clears throat> be skeptical. It doesn't bother me. Whatever. <clears throat> I was upstairs. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. I have really bad sinus drainage. Uh, 
But anyway, I was upstairs. I had just gotten out of the shower. And um, I heard whistling. Now, I can't whistle to save my life. But it, I'm going to try to replicate. It sounded kind of like somebody going... Or something like that, only a lot louder and a lot higher pitched. And I came out of the bathroom. You know, I kind of poked my head out of the bathroom. And I didn't see anybody home because my mom and my grandma were both gone. And uh, I know I haven't... I'm not going to go into detail... But my grandfather passed on the 9th of this month, so I'm not going to go into detail, but yeah, that happened. Um, so I was, like I said, I poked my head out of the bathroom. Neither of them were home. Uh, so I went back in the bathroom and continued getting ready. This strand of hair. Uh... <clears throat> My phone is howling at me. I need to put that on vibrate when I make uh, videos. But anyway, I go back in the bathroom and I continue getting ready. And I heard it again along with shuffling. So I throw my clothes on real quick and I go out in the living room. And my grandmother has a box of tissues that sits on a blanket next to her on the uh, couch. The box of tissues was on the back of the couch. Now, like, I... I looked when I went up to shower and the tissues were on the blanket. And again, when I came out of the bathroom, they were gone. They hadn't been gone very long either, so I knew they weren't back. <clears throat> and the box of tissues was up on the back of the couch. So, you know, I, I picked it up the box was kind of cold, which is weird for our house because it's normally really freaking hot in here. Um, and I put it back on the pillow, or the, the blanket, and I just, you know, I felt something, but I didn't know what it was. At first, I thought it might have been my grandpa playing a prank on me until the second thing happened because it felt like the same kind of energy. The second experience I had today, <clears throat> like I said, this happened, my cat just knocked something over. <laughs> this happened within like four hours of the first experience. They had gotten home <clears throat> and I went out to my mom's car because mine's in the shop. Long story, I might go into that on a video, I don't, I don't know, but uh... My car's in the shop, so I went out to my mom's car to get my grandma's um, back pillow out of the car. And I walked out the door, and it just felt like somebody went and popped me right in the lip. <clears throat> so I grabbed the pillow, <clears throat> came back in. The second I walked in the door, I felt that pop again. And my lip literally felt swollen. My lip felt like I had just come from the dentist and had gotten a Novocaine shot. Like, it was numb. It felt puffy. It hurt. So, no explanation for that. Like, it physically wasn't puffy, but it hurt. Like, I touched it, and it hurt, and it felt puffy. <clears throat> so, I know my grandpa's spirit wouldn't sock me in the face, <laughs> So, I don't think it was him, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, definitely felt kind of malevolent the second time. Like, it, it was kind of creepy. But I don't get scared by that kind of stuff because I'm used to it. <laughs> it's been happening to me literally since I can remember. So, I just wanted to <clears throat> throw up this quick uh, sub-series video uh, about some paranormal stuff that happened to me today. Um, like I said, I'll do some more videos, uh, talking about other paranormal experiences I've had. One of which, mm, scared the shit out of me. I still don't like to go in the, the, uh, the room it happened in. So, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> if you did, be sure to give a like, leave a comment, subscribe, join the wolf pack, the, uh, creepy crew, you know, whatever. 
Um, if you haven't already, those of you who are already subscribed, thank you for being here. And yeah, so that's going to be it. And I'll catch you for the next video, guys. Stay creepy.